All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to prove all those wonderful facts about row reduction and determinants. For example, that if you interchange two rows of a matrix, the new determinant becomes minus the original determinant. And in fact, let me do that. But first of all, let me just start with a crucial lemma that we'll need. Lemma, if A has two identical rows, rows, then the determinant of A is zero. For example, if you have two, three, two, four, one, four, two, three, two, Indeed, because we have two identical rows, we get zero. And, sorry, I forgot to complete this. And the proof of this is really cute. It's just an induction proof. So assume it is true, you know, for big matrices, for smaller matrices. If you have a big matrix, what do you do? Well, you know you have two identical rows. Just um, expand it along any row. Uh, and by the way, you are, assume, you are allowed to assume now that you can expand it along any other row. So if we have two identical rows, just expand it along the, another row. And then what you get, if you expand out this determinant, then we still have a smaller matrix with two identical rows. And then by induction, this is zero. Mm -hmm. All right, and now let's... Let me show you what row reduction does. So first of all, for type one, elementary row operations, it's true that if you interchange any two rows, then you get minus the original determinant. So for any R and S, if you take the determinant of the matrix, which rows A, R, and A, S, and you switch them, you get minus, so minus of A1, dot, 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 AS, AR, AN. And the proof is adorable. You'll see why. So Oreo should watch this proof. Um, it's really cute. Uh, because consider the following matrix. So A1, but in the rth row, you have AR plus AS but also in the S row, you have AR plus AS. Notice we have two identical rows. So by our fact, this determinant is zero. Now, here we need another fact. Even though the determinant is not linear, it is linear in every row. So in particular, it is linear in this row. And therefore what you get is, this becomes A1 da, 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 up to AR, AR plus AS up to AN, plus A1, AS, AR plus AS, AN. And again, this is in the R row and the S row. This is in the R row and the S row. And then we can just use linear multilinearity again. It is linear in the S row. So what this becomes, we get A1 da, 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 up to AR, AR, AN, and this is again R and S, plus A1 da, 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 AR, AS, AN. Okay, so R and S. N plus A1, da, 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 A S, A R, A N plus A1, da, 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 A S, A S, A N. But notice this matrix has two identical rows, so it's gone. This one also has two identical rows, so this is gone. And what do we have? If you add the matrix with rows R and S and the swapped one, you get your sum is zero. And this is precisely what this says. If you sum those two things, it's zero. So solving for this one, you get this one is minus this one. 
So in other words, if you swap two rows, you get zero. And by the way, crucial for uh, another video, if you have, now in terms of elementary matrices, if you have a matrix where you swap, let's say the first and the third row, so an elementary matrix of type one, what is that determinant? Well, just swap the two anomalous rows and then just by definition you get the identity matrix. Because if you swap things twice, you get the identity. So you get, it's minus the determinant of the identity, but the determinant of the identity is one. So we get minus one. In particular, an elementary matrix of type one has determinant minus one. All right, moving on. Now, what if you have type two? So uh, elementary matrix of type two not some other type 2 disease. Um, <laughs> well, it's actually much easier. Well, if you multiply a row by, let's say, one, 1 over k or something, then you can just pull out that constant. So if you, let's say, divide a row by 2 or something, then you just pull out that 2, and you get k a1, AR, up to AN. And it seems like something new to prove, but it's not. It's actually just a special case of multilinearity because we know the determinant is linear in each row. And well, this is one row, and linear means you can pull constants out. And what does that imply for elementary matrices? Well, suppose you have an elementary matrix of type 2. You can just pull the constant out, and you get k times the identity matrix. And the determinant of the identity is 1. So you just get that an elementary matrix that multiplies a row by k is just k. All right, last but not least, what about the most important one? Well, type 3, what if you add k times one row to the other one, which is the one used the most? Turns out it doesn't affect the determinant at all. So a1, ar, as plus kar, an. And again, the proof is adorable because consider the right-hand side, A1, AR, AS, plus KAR, AN. Just use multilinearity because it's linear in this row. So we get A1, AR, so original matrix, AS, AN, plus K times A1, AR, AR, AN. But you see, this matrix has the same rows, so its determinant is zero. And what you get is, our final thing is equal to our original thing. And then you're done. And then let me just illustrate this. I mean, let me just talk about the elementary matrix first. So suppose you have an elementary matrix that, let's say, uh, multiplies, so adds three times the first row the third row, or maybe two times. Well, then all you do is, because you know uh, row reduction doesn't affect this, you just add minus two times the first row to the third row, and you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is the identity matrix, which is 1. In other words, an elementary matrix of type 3 has the determinant 1. And this is super useful to calculate determinants. So let me just end with this. Suppose you want to calculate the determinant of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, what you would do, you would 
uh, subtract four times the first row from the second row, seven times the first row from the third row, which doesn't affect the determinant at all because it's type three. And then you get this. And then you can just, what this says, type two says you can factor this out. So it's minus three times minus six of one, two, three, zero, one, two, zero, one, two. And how nice is that? This has two identical rows, so you get zero. So in particular, we'll see this matrix is not invertible. And as I said, it might seem silly now, but this is crucial when we want to prove that the determinant of AB is the determinant of A times the determinant of B. All right, I hope you like this little determinant extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to ring the notification bell. Thank you.